Did you always wanted to know how dices are being rolled when you play the Bakemon or in any another game that in computer that involves dices? Well, today in my third challenge, we are going to look deeper for a possible way that programmers may do that when they program in games that are including rolling dices. So that is going to be a super cool to know how dices are randomly picked in Python code. Let's dive deeper. So, as being said, in the first stage I need to calculate all the possible combinations out of the rolling dices and I'm going to do that with a module called Iter Tools and we are going to explain what that module is and what is uh, being made for and also I want to store all the combinations in a list so I can access them later for the simple goal of picking uh, some random dice out of the, all the possible combinations from the dices. So, let's start code this. So, in the first step, I really want to import all the required modules that I'm going to use during the, the writing of this one. So, I want to import iter tools and I also want to import the random module to pick randomly a combination out of the uh, dices that we are going to make. And I really want to store all the uh, roll dice commands in a function. So you will see in the future in the future why, but that is really nice to keep this on a function that looks more cleaner. And in the first step, I want to mention the numbers of the dices that uh, we have. So obviously, I want a list from one to six, and we already know how to do that from the previous videos. So I want to make a list of ranges of range of numbers from one to seven, and this is actually going to return me returns us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is what I want to do in the first step. So the next step is going to be for us just to check out what functions the iter tools includes. I'm going to make something like iter tools dot and output the list of all the possible functions that I'm going to, that we can use. So I want to dive into product and check what it does. Let's zoom in here so you can read. Okay, product is a product of objects, Cartesian product of input iterables equivalent to nested for loops. Okay, so what product is going to do is going to ask us for an iterable. An iterable is a type of variable that you can iterate on. So for example, the dice numbers is an it is an iterable variable because you can iterate through all the numbers you can iterate and over all the numbers and you can output one of a single number out of one to six here so this is an iter our iterative and i'm going to type this here and also we know that we can mention here the times of repeat of the combinations we want to have so if we are going to write one in this one this is just going to output us the combinations out of the dices with only one element stored in it so if i store one element in a combination this is going to return to me six combinations and that's it right because there are six numbers so there are only six possible combinations but if i type in two here this is going to be the exactly thing that I need because I need all the combinations that are possible from the numbers 1 2 6 including the repeatable combination. So 1 1 is a legal combination and it is going to return me that one. So this is the method that I really want to use and we can now go forward on choosing a random dice out of these combinations let's make sure that this right here is going to return a list for us and then the next thing i want to do is to pick a rolled dice and i'm going to store it as random dot choice so we are going to pick only one combination out of the combinations right here excuse me this is gotta be combinations okay so we want to choose random choice and we want to print your dice is going to do that format trick here rolled dice 
Okay, so let's see what this is going to output for us. Let's execute that program. Int object is not iterable. <coughs> Maybe the repeat. This is okay. Let's try now. Okay, so yeah, we had to mention the parameter right here in the parameter. So now we got the combination that I wanted to return. Let's try again. Okay, and one more time. Okay, so this looks good. This is actually generating me a combination of dice from 1 to 6 each time and it does this, does this twice because the repeat here is equal to 2. And now to make it nicer and to make it continuative, I want to do something like this. And we are going to just put in here, not expecting any special input here, press any key to roll. And no matter what I'm going to click, it is just going to jump from this line to this one. And I want to make this continuative, so I'm meaning that whenever a user is going to write in yes in a command line, this is going to roll another dice, and when he is going to write, you know, a no, then it's going to exit the program. So I like to do that with a while true statement, and let's see how we can accomplish this with that one. So in the first step, I want to just roll the dice. Let's delete this one here and let's roll a dice. And I want to know if the user wants to do that again. So I'm going to store an input from the user in an again parameter. And we are going to ask him here, want to roll again. And his option is going to be yes or no. And the only thing... I want to handle here with an if statement is going to be the no one so if he is going to write no then I'm just going to break the true loop a while true loop sorry and it is just going to exit the program because there are no more uh, comments left to run so if again equals no yeah, a common mistake I'm going to write print exiting and just after that I want to exit the while loop. So let's see if this is going to work and because I like to run this kind of scripts from a command line let's dive into the CMD and find the find the path of my program so cd python challenge 3 challenges dir and i can see my challenge 3.py here so let's run python challenge 3 you know what let's do this one so it will be more clear python challenge 3.py okay so let's just press any key okay one wow, my dice is one three one roll again yes Okay, it is going to roll again, yes, going to roll again, one more time, if I'm going to type no, this is going to exit. So, we accomplished our goal, and we are we had just a basic idea really, how a combination of dices could be uh, calculated in uh, behind the scenes, we don't really see that, we see all the fancy UI of throwing the dices, but actually, this kind of, sti this kind of things are decided before by a, a list of commands just uh, maybe even really similar to this one and then it outputs us the r the right picture of the dice regarding to the number we got so if, for example if you got number five to one it is calculated behind the scenes we are going to see the pictures after that for a dice that is uh, showing five numbers and the other one showing one okay so i really hope you enjoyed on this one i think this is a, a very cool to know how you calculate this kind of stuff i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching and please subscribe and like see you in the next one